How's it going guys and welcome back to the hack spot in this video I got something very very exciting to show you guys how to run Windows on your Android device This works with Windows 10 Windows 8.1 Windows XP and also Windows 95 This does not require a root and also does not require your computer to stream into your device This is completely on your device and that's it. It's pretty cool and simple to do All right now you guys will need the following things first a USB Wi-Fi adapter a water bottle and of course, your fake Beats by Dre headphones. So you just need those three things. <laughs> of course, I'm kidding, guys. You don't need any of that. All you need is your Android device, and that is basically it. So the first thing you want to do is go to the Play Store. The link will be down below the description. And here's the app that we need. It's called Limbo PC Emulator. And you want to download and install this app. It's pretty simple. Once you have it, you are basically good to go. What you want to do first is open this up just once and close out of it. So there you go. You just need the file for it. So that basically creates a file for it once you open it up. So now, of course, we do need to download Windows. So in the description, I will have multiple links, but right here, I made them easy for you guys. So they're all Mediafire. You don't need to unzip them. You don't need to extract them. Just download them from here. So this is Windows XP, as you guys see right there, WXP. And I also have the other one. So we have Windows 95. So again, all Mediafire links. Just to make it easy for you guys. And also again, I will have Windows 8.1 down below the description as along with Windows 10. So anyways, I'm going to be downloading Windows XP. So I just hit download. That's it. X out of here. And you want to download a file manager app or because it's a native one on your device. But I don't like the regular one. So I downloaded this file manager app from the app store. It's called file manager. And if you want to use the same one, you can. But you can use this a different one if you want to. Either way, open up your file manager app and head over to the downloads. And let's go and wait for our download to complete. So there it is, Windows XP. You guys can see I already downloaded it before, so I have two of them now. But what you want to do is take this file, copy it. So I'm just going to copy it, tap on the button with the three dots on the top right, and hit Copy to. And over here, I'll bring up a menu. It's going to go to the current folder, tap right there. And you want to go ahead and go back until you are to your SD card. Tap on your SD card, and now scroll down until you find Limbo. It is in alphabetical order over here in this app, so there's Limbo. And now all you want to do is just copy it to this place right here. Do not tap on any of these folders. You just want it right over here inside the Limbo folder, and that is it. So hit OK, and let's go and wait. So simple as that. Now it's in that folder. Now again, if you do want Windows 8.1, Windows 95, or anything else like that, do the same steps, and you can add multiple if you want to. But anyway, let's go back to Limbo. And now we are basically almost done. First, once open, where it says none right here, go ahead and tap on this and click on new. Once you do, this will come up. Go ahead and name your machine whatever you want. You can name it Chipmunk. I don't know, the hack spot, whatever you want to name it, name it that. It doesn't matter. I'm just going to name it Windows and hit create. And that part is done. So scroll down. And over here for architecture, make sure it's selected to x86. There you go. Now go to machine type. Make sure it's PC. Now go to CPU model. Click on the default and click on QMU32. You want to have that selected for CPU model. And for CPU cores, make sure 1 is selected. You want to have it to 1. So again, make sure 1 is selected. Now for RAM memory, you want to make sure that's around 500 megabytes. If you do have a faster phone with more RAM, you could try more. But if it doesn't work, it just crashes, then you have to go lower. So I'm going to keep mine around, let's say, 400 megabytes so let's just go to i'm gonna do 440 there you go you can do the same if you want to but anyways i'm going to select hard disk a make sure that's checked and it's like none and now over here click on open once click on open you want to be in the limbo folder which is automatically what it brings you to so going to scroll down all the way until you find your windows that you downloaded so for example if i wanted to do windows xp i select windows xp the one that i downloaded and put in my limbo folder so now scroll down and just leave this alone. You don't want any of that right now. And for VGA display, make sure it's set to STD. Not that type of STD, just standard. <laughs> and there you go, STD for VGA display. And leave all this alone as default. And same thing for this right here, leave it as default. Scroll down. User interface, click on this right here. Make sure SDL is selected. And for orientation, you want it to be landscape. So there you go, landscape. And then make sure full screen is selected. And down over here, high priority. And guys, that is basically it. So now, if I go ahead and tap on the play button, it will start loading up Windows. So yeah, guys, this is so, so cool. Again, you can do this with Windows 10, Windows 8.1. You just have to have a faster device. My device right here is the Note 5. So it's pretty old, and it can't really run Windows that well. 
Um, I don't even think it's going to be able to run Windows XP, so I'm going to have to probably go to 95. Uh, yep, my Note 5 is too slow. If you have a faster device, it will work, but my Note 5 is too slow, so I'm going to exit out of here. Let's go to close out of the app. And let's just use Windows 95. So again, to load up the same settings, what you want to do is go back up to none and click on Windows again or whatever you named it. And we are back with the same settings. So now all I'm going to do is switch it with Windows 95 because I have XP and that didn't work. So I'm going to go back over here to storage and let's going to go back to open and go all the way down. Let's go to select Windows 95 because Windows XP is even not working on my Note 5 because my Note 5 is too slow. So there you go. I have that selected and leave all the settings as we previously changed. So again, they're the same because I just selected it from here. Anyways, let's go ahead and refresh it. Just that tap on there, hit yes. Tap on this, yes. And now it's going to play it again. And now it should work. So if this comes up, hit OK. Hit play again. And there you go. Now Windows 95 is going to work on my slow note 5 so there you go while it's loading i'm just gonna go ahead and tap on my back button right here and that brings up this menu so i could tap on this to bring up my mouse you guys can see right there and i can also go ahead and tap on this again tap on the keyboard and it will bring up my keyboard tap on it again to get rid of it and that's how it works oh boy it's about to start and there we are loading up into windows 95 again if you have a faster device you can load up windows 8.1 and maybe even windows 10 but again, you have to have a fast device, not an old Note 5 like I do. And anyways, look at this, guys. We can move around our mouse. Click. We got the start menu. Let's go to programs. We got all this stuff. This is the real Windows 95. And it's not just like a skin or anything. This is actual Windows. So that is super cool. I'm running this on my Android phone, guys. Before, in 2001, we needed like big PCs like this thing over here but now it's amazing i'm running windows on this very small smartphone so anyways it's going to x out of here you guys can see that everything does work i can also bring up my keyboard it's going to open up a folder or let's just do my computer uh double click on that and my note 5 is so slow it's going to take a little bit of time to bring it up okay and there you go you guys can see i do have all my drives I'm going to click through them and this is the full-fledged windows so pretty cool so if you have a faster device, it's a lot better. And there you go. So I X out of there. And I'm just going to go ahead and hit cancel on this. All right. So Windows 95. Now, guys, I just want to let you know that for Windows 8.1, it's a little bit different. So let's go to the same settings again. So back into Limbo. Go back to the same settings that you have saved. And over here, what you want to do again is go and select Windows 8 this time, of course. That's the usual step. So Windows 8.1. There it is on my device. And now over here, scroll down. There's some additional steps I need for Windows 8. So check this right here where it says CD-ROM and hit none again. And again, select the same thing. So open, go back all the way down to Windows 8.1. Select it, go back down over here. And that is basically it, except for this part right here. Boot device, tap on default and make sure CD-ROM is selected. So that's only for Windows 8 that I need to do that. And let's go back up over here. It's going to refresh everything. Hit play. And now it's loading up Windows 8.1. Of course, on my slow note 5, it won't load up fully, but wow. Okay, it's kind of loading up on my slow note. So there it is. It's loading up, but again, it's not going to fully work because of this device is too slow. All right, so again, guys, the speeds on this will vary depending on which device you are using. So on my device, again, I have the note 5. So I wasn't really able to run it that well because this device is pretty old. But if you have a newer device, of course, it will run a lot better, a lot more smooth, a lot faster. And also, you'll be able to run Windows 8.1 and maybe even, I, I was about to say iOS, Windows 10. Now, I do want to say that if you do want to run Windows 10 or I, or Windows 8.1, I don't know why I'm keeping saying iOS. But if you want to run Windows 8.1 or Windows 10, you might have to give it some more RAM. And again, if it crashes, that means you do have to reduce the amount of RAM that you have set it to and limbo. But just a heads up for those of you guys who think you guys can run Windows 8.1 or 10 on your device. But it's just really amazing how you can run those operating systems that are meant for desktop PCs on your mobile smartphone now. This is how far we've come, guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed this in-depth tutorial on how to run the full-fledged Windows solely on your Android device without a computer. That is so, so cool. Please be sure to hit that like button and be sure to get subscribed for tons more content. That's all I ask. And guys, oh boy, I have so much more planned. You guys are going to be excited. So again, hit that subscribe button and... Peace out.